For Jehovah is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Bows of the mighty are broken, and they that stumble gird on strength. They that were full have hired themselves out for bread. So there's a changing. They were full, now they've hired themselves out. And the hungry have ceased, while the barren has born seven. Come on, somebody. Yea, she who had many sons has languished. The one who was barren had seven children. The one who was barren has overcome. The one who was barren cried out to the Lord. The Lord heard her cry, and now there's an overcoming. Now there's the fruitfulness come forth. Now as she waited in faith, humility, and patience, she didn't act like the devil. She didn't repay evil for evil, but she waited. She stood steadfast, and now she sees the overcoming. Now she sees the uprising. Now she sees the overtaking, that the blessings of God are overtaking her. Why? Because she was faithful through the strength of God, the grace of God on her, and she continued to push forth, and she birthed a mighty Samuel. Amen? God just didn't, uh, he doesn't just give us anything. God is a good God. Samuel was a mighty prophet. None of his words fell to the ground. Amen. God has given you something great in the waiting. It's worth it. He's not just giving you any old thing. Now children are a blessing. Finding child's a blessing. But I'm saying she was waiting for something magnificent. That's why the enemy tries to oppose us in the waiting. He knows it's something good. He doesn't know all things, but he can see evidence. And like with Job, he may even hear, well, look at my servant. And he can see you. He can see you praying. He can see you warned. So he knows God wants to bless you. And in that, he wants to oppose you. But what? You shall overcome. A change is coming. A breakthrough is coming forth. Why? Because God is faithful. God is good. God is gracious. God is mighty. God is merciful. He's a good God. And he wants to bless you. He wants to show himself faithful in your life. He wants to come in and show himself good so they can say, ah, look at her God. Look at his God. Look what God has done. She was barren and now she's born seven. She was homeless and now she's living in the high rise. She was broken down, beaten, and disgusted. And now she's testifying about the goodness of God. She was the woman at the well with many husbands. And now she's testifying about the one who told her everything she'd ever done. Amen? God is a good God. 